Hey everyone, it's Connor from Coifin here. We recently unveiled portfolio sleeves in our model portfolios. So today I want to walk you through what that is, how to use it, and demonstrate it for you. Portfolio sleeves allow you to combine multiple model portfolios into one larger, more complex model or strategy. For example, you can create an 80-20 sleeve that includes an equity model and a fixed income model portfolio. And this feature will help you build custom asset allocation models by pulling together different components and models, making it easier to tailor investment strategies to you or your clients' needs. So I'll walk you through how to do that now. So right now we're in the model portfolio window and I'm looking at this global diversified portfolio that I have, which contains a bunch of different ETFs and some individual holdings there. Now, if I want to pull together a model that uses sleeves, I'm going to go back to the model portfolio homepage. I'm going to create a new one and we'll get started from scratch. So let's call this one our model of models and ignore all the stuff on the left hand side for now. And I'm going to come in and add some tickers. So historically, you would be able to add any equity ETF or mutual fund here. But now we have model portfolios in this ticker picker window as well. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to look for a few of my models that I've built. So let's take this equity US large cap. I'm also going to take this equity US small cap. I also want my global diversified portfolio that I showed you earlier as well. We can see that this is a model. And I want something fixed income in there as well. So we have this model, which is broad bonds. So now I can select my allocation. For this purpose, I'm just going to equalize them. And now I'm going to create the portfolio. So now what we have is this model constructed of our four models. You can see here in the exposure exhibits, the allocations, we have the target weights as well, and some expense and yield information and some performance. We also have our style box here as well for fixed income and equity. So using these sleeves, while at the high level in this pie chart, we're showing you the allocation of the sleeve. In all of the other exhibits, we're going to be looking at the underlying holdings of those sleeves, whether it's equities or funds, and we're going to be giving you information on those. So let's go over to exposure. We now have exposure here for equity sectors, and this is looking underneath the sleeves and giving you all of those underlying analytics there. The same with region and country and fixed income sectors as well. Based on the weightings that you've chosen, we'll also calculate the performance for you. And you have this available in the performance chart. You also have rolling annual returns. And you have historical returns as well, which breaks that down a bit more granularly on a monthly and an annual basis. The portfolio is the absolute returns of the portfolio. The benchmark is the same, but for the benchmark. And then this net tab here is going to give you the net of the portfolio and the benchmark. You have your risk analytics here as well. So we can see all of this data here and we have the drawdowns. And then we also have this drawdown chart as well. And the holdings matrix provides you with information on the overlap of individual underlying securities and the sleeves that you have as well. So we can see here that we have an Apple position and the US large cap has a 1.7% weighting. And in the global diversified, we also have 0.63% exposure to Apple through that sleeve. And when combined, we have about a 2.35% allocation to Apple through these sleeves. These sleeves will also transfer through to the report creation as well. So if you want to share a report of your models of models and then compare it to another one, for example, so let's say global diversified, I'm going to pull that one in here. I want to present these as this is the proposed and this is the current portfolio. We will hit next. We can edit, add some logos, add client name. And now when I flick through these report summaries, we're going to get information on our proposal portfolio, which is our model of models with the sleeves. And then we also have that benchmarked against a single model portfolio, which in this case is the proposal. So we can go down here, we can see equity exposure, fixed income. We have performance comparisons as well, as well as a line chart for performance. We can see that our proposed portfolio is not great. And then we also have a bunch of other exhibits in there as well. You can create these reports just by clicking this button and it will save a PDF for you. And lastly, before we conclude, any model that you create in the Coifin system can also be carried over into areas like watch lists or charts as well. 
So if I go to the charting feature here and I select my model of models, I can pull this up, take a total return data series. Let's change this to black and thick. And I can see that year to date model of models is up 17%. I can compare that against the SPY. I can pull in a, another model that I've created, which is my global diversified portfolio. I can compare those easily all on the same chart. I can also add in other information like drawdown and make those comparisons as well. So that just about does it. I just wanted to highlight that we now have sleeves in our model portfolios and want to show you how you can use them. As always, you can drop a comment in the comment section below. Our help desk is help at coifin.com. We are at coifin charts across all of our socials. Until next time, thank you.